Welcome to Get Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering Practice Pro 7.9. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. So for this question, we are asked to evaluate the following integrals. And before we go into detail into this, or before we go into this, let's do a quick recap for this section. So here's a rule that says, when a function is integrated with the impulse function, we obtain the value of the function at the point where the impulse occurs, right? Which means we essentially just forget about the, the limits of the integral and just look at where the impulse occurs, which is this point at t is equal to t0. And we substitute this value or that point in time into this function, which you're multiplying by. Right, so this is what's going to happen. In this case, we're going to ignore the limits, as I said, and we're going to look at where the impulse actually occurs. And this impulse occurs at t is equal to minus three, and therefore we are going to substitute this minus three into this function to find the integral. So the answer is found after substituting minus three into this equation or into this function. So here we're going to have negative 27. Here we are going to have 9 multiplied by 5, which is 45. And here we're going to have 10. So that is 55. And then 55 subtract 27 is 28. And that is your answer for the first integral, 28. Now we're going to move on to the second question. We basically do the same thing. We look at where the impulse actually occurs, and the impulse occurs at t is equal to pi. And therefore, we just substitute pi into the function, which is multiplied by the impulse. So the answer is going to be cosine of 3 pi. Right? And the answer to this is negative 1. And these are the two answers for this particular problem. 